the only thing that I wish I could do with whatever power that little star in the middle of the, the chevrons had, I wish I could go back in time. And I wish I could go back to my first supervisors at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. And I, I'd go up to them and I'd be honest, be like, hey man, I know that I'm an airman and I don't know shit right now, right? But one day I'm gonna know shit. Do you really have to speak to me the way you're speaking to me now? Right? Or could you just for a second look and see what I will eventually become? what I could do with my career. And I'm gonna find success without you. I'm gonna go ahead and prove that, right? But what if I had your support all along the way? What if you looked at me right here, right now, and said, you can be a chief one day? Or you could be a command chief one day? What would that look like? I'm sure a lot of your supervisors haven't done that or didn't do that to you, right? But what would that look like if we did? This, this is how CAPE started to come to me with, with expectations, because I knew my supervisors were bad, right? But I didn't, as a young airman, I didn't have the, the vocabulary, I didn't have the understanding to truly articulate it. So, uh, so then I went to Airman Leadership School, then I went to NCO Academy, and NCO Academy changed my life. And NCO Academy gave me the vernacular and the vocabulary to understand why all those bosses sucked. Right? I, I could clearly figure it out. We talked about motivational theories, you know, we talked about personalities, things like that. I'm like, oh, man, you sucked for this reason. Right? I could clearly articulate it. And I always expected them to be better but they weren't, and time and time again, they failed me. 